it is very much fast approaching golf equipment silly season. I think we might have mentioned silly it recently. Season. We have had to sign some embargoes to some brands. <clears throat> you don't even know we've done this, but so we've, we've gone over this before. But well, one, so if you've signed them and I've not, it's alright for me to talk you, about absolutely. it. Absolutely, <laughs> I'll go to I'll go to prison. You, so we've, we've, we've spoke about this before. One thing I'd like to just cover briefly, and before again the silly season hits us, and when we say silly season, we, we've got products come in from a lot of the big golf manufacturers, certainly drivers. And it's that exciting time where you will test them, see if they're bigger, better, faster, longer, um, sexier, to be honest with you as well. You're a good judge of sexiness with the driver, aren't you? We're What's sure the sexiest right? driver on the market right now? Do you know what I'm actually going to put in the bag Go on. soon? Just for a little test. Go on. The Adams. Wow. Well, okay. Yeah. Good personality, not the best looks. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, we obviously work very, very loosely with golf brands. So they will send us the product. Sometimes we buy it. It depends on what the product is. Um, they will tell us about it ahead of launch and send us samples so that we can then review it and get the video ready for when the embargo lifts. And that really is where the relationship ends. Um, so it's very, very simple. If we say, if you say driver is rubbish, you say driver is rubbish. If you say it's great, you say it's great. And it's, it's that simple. But I'll give justified reasons oh, why absolutely. it's rubbish. There'll but be what, some opinion as well, but... Like personal opinion, which obviously I'm, I think a lot of people appreciate. Mm. But as in, if the data doesn't stack up to oh, the claims, I think one of the things that we don't get anymore, but it used to when the channel was much smaller, was people. And I understand this would think that because you're getting the driver free, that you're going to give it a great review. Because to most people, and understandably, if you got a free driver that's worth five hundred quid, that'd be unbelievable. But to, to you now, and this isn't a, a bad thing to, to kind of admit. Getting sent, got, getting sent golf equipment as fun as it is, the novelty sort of just worn off, hasn't it? Like if you test, yeah. Like if you test a driver now and it's all right, and you give it a fine review, it doesn't mean you can put it in the bag suddenly because it's no. exciting. It just stays in the in the storage cupboard. Exactly. Uh, so we keep I, it further I, testing. I wouldn't have had that ping driver in the bag for so long, or you know, I've had clubs in the bag for so long, and I've tested ones in between that. Like, you know, I think when I very first started testing, I was a bit of a magpie and got yeah. attracted by nice new shiny things. But obviously, as time has gone on, a little bit more realistic with club expectations and, and how they perform. Well, the way I sometimes say it to people, obviously, I'm lucky that I use some of your bits or whatever, but like, not this happens very often. But if I've got a good round of golf going and I get to the 18th tee and I need to hit my driver... I stand over that thinking I need to hit a good drive. I don't care if my driver is three years old, five years old, or came out last week. It has to be a drive that you trust. And that novelty, as nice as it is to put something shiny new in it, it does wear off if it's not performing. Um, just on that, in a video we're going to be filming this week, I won't kind of say when and where, I'll keep it a bit secret, but Ping Golf are launching a new service. I won't say too much about it, but uh, it's basically the absolute ultimate fitting for a putter. Ping were launched as a putter brand, were known as being the best putters for a long time. I think it's fair to say that's not really how they're seen anymore. Ping are very much seen now as a driver brand, iron brand. And the putters, I would say, come after that, really, in a lot of people's opinions. Yeah, I feel like Ping probably aren't number one in any category, but they're a close second or third mm. in almost every category. Yeah, I don't know where they sit in metals. I think they're up there, but you yeah. said it could be one. I don't know, Callaway, TaylorMade, you've got obviously a few big brands, haven't you? That's what you? I mean. But Ping don't really dominate any particular category, but they're very, 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 yes. very good in everything, aren't they? It's good. And I remember when, again, we started the same kind of era in 97. Ping putters, the answer putter was the absolute one. It, it was, was Scotty answer. Cameron's were <laughs> nice. Scotty Cameron's were starting to really gain more prominence as well. And obviously with Tiger in 97 or whatever, using one, they really kind of went off from there. But... This experience, you are going to get fitted in this really kind of in-depth way for a ping putter that can then be customised. And and we're, well, you, we, you're going to review the kind of whole process and, you know, you will tell it warts and all. It's a very expensive process. We'll come into all that in the full video of how much it costs and, and what you get for that. You know, I did want to ask you, Go you on. get the putter for that price? Yes. All right, I was going to say. Yeah. We've the not putter the... wasn't included, correct? Well, I know the price, but yeah, I Yeah, it's like... a lot of money. Okay. Um, so we'll, we'll unveil a bit more of that in next week's podcast. Yeah, so, so it's exciting to scenes. see what it's like. But, but we are making a main channel video for that as well. And they, But I'm tr this is why I know videos, hopefully, should be good videos. And when, when we are genuinely excited to see what's going to happen whether that be testing a legal golf club or whatever it looks like with this i'm excited because again the price is extortionate to know what level of service do you get what is that finished product going to be like will it improve your game and obviously ping and brands that do these kind of things know that they're going after a tiny 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 percentage of the market most people would never in the million years dream of 
spending this amount of money to go for a club fitting. But for those few percent who do, either multimillionaires or people who just absolutely love golf more than anything, is it worth it? Time will tell. It's exciting. If you enjoyed that video clip, be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the weekly full-length episodes every single Tuesday. You can also listen to it in the car on Apple, Spotify, and all of your favourite podcast platforms.